Mm. Feeling good about this one? How do you make a fried rice that's healthier and actually tastes good? Well, here we go, my friends. This is my superfoods fried rice. Okay, so we have quite a few ingredients here that need a little bit of help like in the flavor and technique department in order to be actually tasty. So <laughs> let's start off with our uh, turkey breast mince. Okay, not the most exciting of proteins, but it's nice and lean and, you know, it kind of has those virtuous kind of vibes. Certainly not an, an indulgent meat, I guess. <laughs> you're pretty much only eating turkey mince when you're trying to be healthy, right? That's me, yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm gonna add to this though, some ketchup manis or um, some dark sweet soy sauce. Now, there's a bit of technique here because what this is gonna do is one adds a little bit of a um, seasoning or salty flavor. I want some white pepper here as well. Mix this up. Now, you could go ahead and use uh, chicken mince, beef mince, um, plant-based mince substitute, all good things to use here. Now, I'm gonna get this wok heating up because I want it super, super, super hot. Even if you're not using a wok, using a, a frying pan, same deal. Just get it really hot because I need to get that color and flavor on that turkey mince. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna chop up some mushrooms. So what I'm really trying to do here is add in as much sort of vegetable goodness as I can into this fried rice. But I think the mushrooms also give you a really nice, um, you know, savory flavor as well. I'm gonna put some broccolini in here as well. And I have a little trick for the broccolini um, in the way I slice it, because it means you don't have to kind of steam and add water or liquid to your fried rice. So I just cut the ends off and then really go in on an angle here. And what you're doing is kind of thinning out those stems so that they cook really quickly without having to, you know, water down or steam the broccoli in the pan. Okay, so that's those bits and pieces done. Now I just need some eggs. All right, so this is smoking hot, exactly what I want. I'm going with some oil and add that turkey mince in. Now here's the trick guys, spread this out and then just wait. Wait until we get all the color and the caramelization on the bottom of that turkey. Don't touch it. Three, four minutes. Maybe three minutes. So while we're waiting for that turkey, let's run through some of the other kind of superfood charged things that I've got planned for this fried rice. Um, I'm using a mixture of baby spinach and kale here. Um, and then with my rice, I've gone for a brown rice. Uh, now, if you want uh, some tips on exactly how to cook your brown rice so it's really nice and firm and lovely for fried rice, check out my website. Um, you'll find the recipe there. Uh, and then I've also got some cooked quinoa as well. So I've replaced some of the rice with protein packed quinoa. So there you go. All right, this looks good. Let's now give this a bit of a mix. Oh, and you can see that color, that's beautiful. Turkey mince never looks so good, huh? <laughs> Next up are my mushrooms. Now the order of these ingredients is really important guys because I'm going in order of ingredients that need to get the best kind of sear to get the best flavor. Mushrooms need a nice sort of high heat to get that lovely color and so that they don't go all soggy and slimy. So they go in first in terms of vegetables. Now, those of you who have been long time watchers of my channel will know that I do not advocate for the like TV show way of stir frying, <laughs> which is do it really quickly and you're tossing ingredients and there's flame, and there's all sorts of things. You know, when we're at home, um, the heat is nowhere near as high as in a Chinese restaurant. So you have to add the ingredients one by one and you have to give them time for the heat to get to them. Um, and that way you don't end up with a big soggy stewy kind of mess. You add everything at once, you get steam, you get liquid, and you just get a big soggy mess. Okay, so see how everything's really still lovely and dry in here? My mushrooms have a nice color. So now I'm gonna go in with my broccolini. And again, I haven't added my ginger and garlic yet, 
That's coming later. There's a reason for that. But let's just toss this broccolini around for a little bit. So for the eggs, I just want to move everything over to the side of the pan. Add in a little bit of extra oil here. Pour my eggs in. And then just kind of let that egg set, sort of move it around a little bit. Now we start to break that egg up, toss it through. Okay, let's get to the greens. I've got some kale, some baby spinach. <laughs> that looks like so much. <laughs> it will wilt down. Have trust, <laughs> have faith. Okay, um, I wanna add some soy sauce in here as well. And now just toss this giant, <laughs> massive amount of greens uh, until everything kind of wilts down. I already feel like very virtuous just looking at all these greens. <laughs> now this actually makes for a really great meal prepping uh, dish because we don't have um, any fresh herbs or anything that's going to wilt or anything like that. This could, you know, you could portion this out for a couple of days or a few days during the week, which would be great. All right, so now we're gonna go in with our ginger and garlic. Now the reason is that because I wanted to get that really hard sear on the turkey and the mushrooms and all the vegetables, I didn't wanna burn my garlic or ginger. So um, I'm gonna put the ginger in now and the garlic. And do you know what? This really helps with the flavor because as soon as you start eating this, you get a really fresh ginger flavor because it's just sort of been added in at the end. It's a little little secret that really makes a difference in this dish. Okay, um, now I'm gonna go in with my brown rice and the quinoa. Let's toss all of that together. And that's it. Turn the heat off, just make sure everything is well combined. And there we go. Just a little bit of chili. So I am going to get myself a nice, lovely plateful. Because I'm mean, you know I like things spicy, I've got my chilli to add here at the end. And then just a little wedge of lemon. So it's not often you look at a whole pile of like kale and spinach and go, I'm really excited. But this looks very exciting and appealing to me. Yum. Oh, what's great about that? Like we've added like barely any seasoning in terms of sauces to that, but it's got so much flavor because you've got that kind of like charry, smoky turkey mints going on. And then that pop of ginger is so good. Mm. Feeling good about this one. Hey friends, I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, why not hit the like button? And even better, I would love so much if you would subscribe and even hit that little bell button so you get notified every time I release a new delicious video. Thanks guys.